Uh, so we got some watermelon. That little guy right there. So those are Jubilees. That's the sugar baby watermelons. Got a random row of corn I planted here. So the monitor was reading 118 yesterday. Corn's kind of uh, fried over there. Cucumbers, cantaloupes in this one right here. Everything's kind of frying up. Hoping that, you know, gets water on all that tonight and hope it comes back. So, <clears throat> if you follow along with the podcast when I was talking about, you know, wrapping up the dirt for the garden. I ended up going a little bit bigger than, uh, originally I was going to do a 16 by 30. I went a little bit bigger. That's pretty much what it looks like. Again, if you have a rototiller. been a lot easier and been done already but yeah that's all all those dead trees here all that stuff was all in this area has ripped it all up moved it so that is where we're going to going to run corn more corn squash potatoes beans and then the rest of this planter box put a little bit more soil down in that and then we're going to put the lettuce spinach and stuff like that over here oh yeah my uh the garden was initially just going to be this right here and then that one and that's just kind of expanded out so again you don't need a lot of space for growing enough food to feed you and your family, which is the thing to remember. Let's see. So, yeah, just get out there, pick a spot, rip up the grass, and uh, start planting. So, yeah, and the other projects is staked out for the uh, solar panel array to be put in it should be out next week to uh, start putting that in and then all this area back here is going to be cleared out hopefully in the next week or so two weeks so we can start plotting out where we want to start building the barn aluminium at so yeah that's what's up all right Hope you all have a great day.